Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my old uh, work area and my new craft room. So this is the table that I used to sit at. Um, I have I had everything within reach, arms uh, distance, kind of in like a U shape around me. Um, so you can see all my stuff, <laughs> pretty much anything you could want. Um, I had here. So um, next to me on a bench I used to sit on. Um, here is um, I had my plastic containers. And behind that is some, some of my books, my idea books were back there. And this is the tall stack of drawers I had with extra supplies I didn't use too often. Extra papers and felt and my brads, extra glue, uh, big punches I didn't use all the time. Uh, pretty much what uh, I didn't need every day. Uh, this was a cabinet I had with my printers on top, and inside I had all my books and miscellaneous uh, papers that went in there, some stamp boxes, uh, stuff like that. And this is kind of just a sweeping view of the bench I used to sit in. I had boxes behind me from my Etsy store, and as you can see, everything was really kind of crammed into half a dining room table. Um, so you're going to see... Um, this is the old setup that I had, uh, backside here, which used to see me sitting back there, my all my stuff, uh, ephemera and plastic, etc. So that's my old. So this is going to be my new area. Hard to get it all filled in. Sorry for the glare. <laughs> but that's the desk. Um, I've got an empty bookshelf so far, <laughs> nothing else. Um, a little cart there. Squeaky floor. <laughs> um, we do have a closet that I can put stuff in. Yeah, so the desk was considered a gaming table. It has two shelves underneath. You can see down here. Two shelves under that section. You can see a little better over there. Um, sorry. Two sections, two shelves under there. And then a little bit of a riser up top there. And I figured I'm going to put my sewing machine on that extension. Do my filming over here. Yeah. Be able to put my all my books um, in the bookshelf. So it'll be right there. Um, I left a space behind the desk. Maybe I'll get less glare from this way. I left a space behind the desk so that I can walk back there and open the window. This desk also had a power um, strip, so I could do plug this up into the desk instead of trying to get it out to the cord, so yeah. So that little space I have right now should fill this space quite well. I'm so excited. Okay, I have set up my craft room. I'll give you a quick layout. Um, you saw it with just the desk. I forgot to film it when everything was on the desk. But here's the setup to start. So I have a, a little uh, three-tier cabinet here. I was going to put the printer on there, but it was shaking too much. And I have like printer supplies and there, the ink and the paper. Um, I was going to put that little table right there as my sewing area. But I put it into the corner. I figure I can shift it if I have to. And then hopefully it doesn't get too bright for you here. See if I can move out a little bit. All right, so I have that riser shelf. So I've got a couple boxes on there with some punches and um, plastic containers, etc. Squeaky floor. All right, so I got punches and ephemera, and there is my table that I film at. Um, my down. Uh, filming arm thing, I guess you would call it. Got a couple close by scissors and glue so held on. Um, if you saw my last video with the whack and stag, my crummy chair that I'm using with the pillow just to give me some height um, until I can find a chair that moves. Um, down below the desk, I have put a few things. Um, I've got some of my plastic storage, um, just a few things that I can reach uh, quickly. I don't know what's going to stay there just yet. All right, so in the corner, I have uh, my bookshelf. I have faces that direction so it doesn't get as much of the sun that comes in there. And I 
it fits pretty good. I got everything in there that I need, and I even have a bottom shelf. My son left some of his controllers behind, um, so I do have room to expand. All right. The shelf we went out and bought from Menards. Uh, it is 18 inches deep, so it holds quite a bit. I believe it's six foot tall, so it has five shelves. So I have little stuff on the top that I don't use for often. My circle papers, that green container has um, my Robin, Robins. I got my pile of chipboard or combo book boards up there and my long reach stapler. And then the next shelf I have my paper. I've got my toy by toy paper pads that I just got from Hobby Lobby that I wanna use a lot. That box has six by six and some of my what do you call it, cluster books. And then I've got, next to it, I've got my box, my tiny box of tiny tags, and then my done bigger ones that are in there. There's plenty of room in there to go. And the next shelf, I have that phone tower thing that I bought. I still love it, it holds so much. My little soldier's in a line there. Um, I've got a few of my books that I use to fill things. Um, the first one is the stamp book with the labels, the middle one is my circles, and then my last one, the pink one, I just did the signature. And then I've got more 12 by 12 paper pads in this little box thing that I made. And then I've just got, those are my stamps um, that I've got in those clear like photo holders, a box of just random papers, and that is some... I've used these before in some of my uh, videos. I think they're just the clear, clear file folders. I've got stamps in there, but then I also have uh, papers and stuff like that. Um, I kept that over there. It didn't really fit well on the desk. Box of fabric, big cutter, and some miscellaneous stuff. That green one is my wooden stamps that I have. And then I've got these old drawers that I had for scrapbooking. You can see they're named greens and yellows and blues most of them are still in the colors they're all my prints that I have I still haven't taken them out so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them but I moved the containers here and on top is sitting one of the third of my colored rainbow things that hold ephemera and stuff and then where it says black is actually washi tapes and um, this is just random 12 by 12s that I pulled out In a small box of washi tape. So I have all my washi tape in those two boxes. And then this is the tall cabinet that you saw in the beginning of the video that I have all my miscellaneous supplies in, glues and some ribbons and tie-dye papers. I've taken some of this stuff out of there. It's not as full because I have room for it. Sitting on top is my eyelets and brids. Okay, and finally the closet. I do have a bag full of jewelry back in the corner, uh, plastic name. That is still stuff I have to sort. It's got 12 by 12 white and black papers and some other stuff in there. And then this is a stack of solid cardstock that I have that I originally pulled out of that really tall drawer that I had downstairs. So I have to still, um, it's been shifted and moved so much so all the colors have got jacked up. Um, I'm not sure where I'm gonna put them yet, but I think I have enough paper to last me quite a while, and I believe that bag has, that white bag has more print cardstock. So, yeah. So overall, I am quite happy with how it turned out. I forgot to point out, I've got that lamp on, above my work area, I've got those on milk crates. Um, yeah, I'm happy how it turned out. I'm sure I'm gonna be tweaking it and getting some stuff. Oh, I forgot to show the last thing. Um, that shelf up there has all of my um, finished journals and then some envelopes and some, what are those called? Index cards. Yeah. Forgot to show that. So, um, yeah, overall, I'm quite happy with how it turned out. And hopefully I can get things tweaked to where I like it, find a new chair, and um, keep making some wonderful videos. Thanks so, so much for stopping by. I um, hope you enjoyed, enjoyed, enjoyed that tour and it didn't get you too dizzy. And we'll see you 
in the next video. Thanks so much. I hope you all have a wonderful and creative day. Bye now.